earlier today. Um, Shams of the Athletic has said that uh, the Knicks <clears throat> will be interested in Andre Drummond as a potential buyout candidate. And not only that, CK and Ash, not only that, that they will be interested in potentially a multi-year extension. Andre Drummond on the Cavs averaging 17 and a half points, 13 and a half rebounds. Um, currently, basically uh, waiting, you know, waiting to be dealt or to be bought out by the team. They basically put him on the shelf until they figure out a destination for him. What else is new? We've seen this with, with Jay, uh, Blake Griffin. And a number of other players awaiting buyouts this year. And obviously, they, as they say, the Lakers and the Nets are still the favorites uh, as buyout candidates. But Sham saying the Knicks are interested in the Mount Vernon product and a potential multi-year deal, man. What, what do we think about this? What, what, what do we think about this? Andre Drummond. Riddle me this. I just need, I need answers. So I need answers. <laughs> Okay. It depends on what that multi deal is looking like. Like, and also, what about our other center? That gonna cost. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. And we ain't got another center. We got to pay, or are we finally flipping them? Like, what, what's going confusing. on? What about Mitch Robinson just he just vanishing the thin. I know we're we're, we're yeah. thin at the big man position, but he hurt. He didn't get Thanos. There's yeah. no snap. He's still on the team. So what <laughs> we we get on a Drummond. I great, I great. He's going to be a great help for us, you know, rebound. Go ahead, do your thing, chat. But at the same time, we extend him, we put him on contract. Does that mean we just we're done with Mitchell Robinson without flipping him? We just let him walk. What's the deal? Mitchell Robinson then becomes the backup. To, yeah. I, I, there's the, that's the biggest question for me. I, I, I can't even think about the, the, the talent of Andre Drummond until that question is answered because I, I still feel like we don't even know what's going on with Mitchell Robinson. So, that I haven't even thought about what he could do for this team past the fact of Mitchell Robinson. I just don't understand how all that works. I, yeah. it, unless he's the backup and we all agree with that, then okay. But uh, then why didn't, I don't, know. I don't know. To me, I just feel like it's such a messy, crazy situation that then add him on to. Do you think Mitch is as good as um, Andre? No. Or... I mean, no. no. I wouldn't no, no, say no. that. No. Okay, so. <clears throat> Defensively, but, I think Mitch is better. But go ahead. Finish your point, CK. Go ahead. No, but to, just to answer your question, but mm -hmm. then at this point, then what's the point of then bring? Because what Mitch is almost done is his last. I mean, right. technically, his last year is next year. Um, then do we, are we just gonna if we sign him? If we're talking about signing him long term, are we flipping Mitch then, or are we planning on keeping both? I, yeah, Mitchell Robinson is gonna be in his feelings about that, and then we're going we're not gonna get a good product of Mitchell Robinson in the first place. He's still right. a young dude, and he's shown that it, that's just been his temperament when he's been on the Knicks. Nothing against the dude, but. I just don't think we would, I don't, I don't know. I don't think he would feel right about playing back him in this me whole trade scenario. It's going to be a whole thing. I just feel like there's too much that's going to be going on behind the scenes and that can mess us up chemistry wise. Yeah. So unless we're planning to flip them, then okay, then do it. Right. But I, I don't know. It's a how confusing much one, man. Everybody. It's definitely confusing. Supposedly they only want a second round pick or so for him. I don't, I don't believe that he's, he's making $28 million. Yeah. So it's not well, an easy a trade. Pick for for who, Andre for, Drummond? Yeah, that's yeah. what I read. That's what I saw. So oh, that's a what report I saw on Twitter. I don't believe that. Give him to me right now. Yeah, well, I, of course, if that's the price, I would take him. But so you, you, you got to have the cap space about? for that. I think that ideally, people are just waiting for him to get bought out so that they could sign him to the vet minimum. So, as you just trading Mitch away, what you doing? Well, you keeping both? You think everything will be all right? Mitch is under contract next season, though. Yeah, Mitch has about two more years. How much? One. A I think they have bit. a, I think I they have a team the, the, the option for the, for next season. Yeah, mm -hmm. just next season. Yeah, so for nothing. That's not, that's not a decision you would have to make right away. Um, so, I mean, it it, it it's the opportunity. It, it's one of those things where basically you see you have two people of the same position essentially see who plays better, and that's the one you keep. I mean, I guess that'd be the way to do it. But I'm just I'm trying to look at it in terms of the long game, does Andre Drummond make us better and where we need to be better? No. Defense, to me, no. Our issue. To defense me, is not our issue. Defense I'm, is not necessarily our issue. Rebounding, depending not, on the night. And that's where you would help. Yeah, he would definitely help, no doubt. And he would definitely help. But I think where he doesn't help is if, being a floor spacer for RJ and, 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 and Julius, which is what we've been needing, which is why we also ask for tips to stagger the lineups to give yeah. these guys room. Look what RJ did tonight. Yeah. You know, this is why we're asking to, to, to get him some more space. So, yeah, yeah. Drummond <sighs> would definitely crowd the floor. Yeah. 
He's, um, he's not a great finisher at the rim. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a bad player. Don't get me wrong. Right. That's what I'm saying. People will take it that I'm way. Not, right. No, exactly. Not I'm that. not saying that it's at not all. That, like, we know we're going to get an it, advantage. It's just the from overall that. fit with this team. I mean, listen, if, if they're able to get him for a buyout or, or right. um, you know, well, for the, for the twenty eight million dollars, you got to make the salary cap work. You got to make the salaries work, even though yeah. Knicks have about eighteen left. But let's say they buy him out and they bring him in for a short short term. Okay, fine. But to to yeah. say that you're just gonna you know extend the multi years? No, I'm not doing that. I, I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, do that. it would be one of those situations where if you can go ahead and get Drummond and sign him to like a one year, just so that you can have him and Mitch basically within the same franchise, so you can see who produces better for your team and then go ahead and make a decision after the fact that would be good but if that's something that you're trying to you know like CK say if you're trying to flip Mitch get Drummond and then you don't know if you're if Drummond's even gonna work eh. I just feel like again from the things that we really need defense obviously thankfully Thank it's not one of our problems um, rebounding, we can always use help, but that also is because I don't think Mitch is not on the floor right now, so it looks a little bit right. more discombobulated than it did at the beginning of the season. We need scoring help. We need help offensively. We need somebody who can relieve Randall and and quickly and and um, Barrett of all the scoring that they have yeah. to do. We need someone else who can go ahead and pull up shots, mid-range game, long-range game, drive into the paint. We need help scoring more than we right. need help on defense. So it just – he won't hurt, but he's no. not going to drastically help what we no, really my, – My investment needs are at the one and the three. I'm going to say this from now until the summer. It's the I'm one, it's the three. I'm not putting money in Andre Drummond and then putting money in Julius. That's that. This is not the Thank 90s. You. This ain't the '90s or early 2000s, bro. We're not trying to trying to put your investment in your front court. We need it on the perimeter. We need a yeah, one. Yeah. We need a three. And again, it's not it's not you know discrediting Andre Drummond, but that's not At where all. you want to make your investment. Right. You know what I mean? That's not where you want. Now, if we want to be haters and keep them from the Nets, all right. I was, I was, yeah, see, and that's the other argument I got Keep too. From like, the Brooklyn fine, right, about me, it's like, I'm shoot, I'm rooting for the Lakers. Like, go ahead and get <laughs> yeah. him, whatever. Go get him. The Nets aren't gonna take him. Yo, trust me. Uh, okay. Trust me. Griffin. Trust me. They will go and get him. They will. They they, they will get magic out of retirement if they want. Right the Nets now. are that desperate. Do this. I'm telling everybody in the chat. I'm telling you guys right now. If the Nets get Andre Drummond. <laughs> and try to pull this. Buy me a LeBron James Lakers jersey right now. I swear I will wear it on team, this show. Team LeBron, man. I'm 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 I will wear it on this show during the finals. Team That's LeBron. how you want, red, you want gold, purple, city edition. Whatever color, color you want to give LeBron, me, I will man. wear it. I will wear it with yeah. pride, gold <laughs> Lakers, because I will be damned if the Nets win an NBA championship. Team, no. team LeBron, man. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down if you would be with the Andre Drummond move. In the meantime, I want to hear from people in the chat who want to talk about it. Let me hear from the OG Dan from Long Island. Dan, talk to me, man. Are you with the Drummond move or, or not? Uh, how you guys doing tonight? Regarding Drummond, man, listen. Here's the question. Because and, and this isn't who do you who do you guys want? Because we don't want our depot. We don't want Bradley Beal. Like you have to take who's you have to also consider who's available, right? So who exactly is out there that everybody wants? Who's that D and three cat that everybody's yeah. screaming for? Because no matter whenever a name comes up, all I hear is we don't want him. We don't want him. I know. I don't turn down and, everybody, man. And, and, <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. And, yeah. and I'm just saying when I look at this thing, I look at Drummond, and you know, I, I no disrespect, and I, like. That guy's a dominant NBA player. Now, you want to say you can't have two guys play on the block? Well, Julius doesn't really play on the block. You know what I'm saying? Does he help? Does he hurt? He doesn't hurt the team. That's for sure. He doesn't hurt this team. And I, I agree. If he prevents you from going and getting the marquee scorers that we need, then I agree with you. We should go in a different direction. But but I just think to say out of hand that Drummond, Drummond isn't a guy for this team kind of underestimates. With all due respect, you're not watching enough Andre Drummond. Because my man can ball. So, so then why is he on his third team then, Dane? Why is he looking at his third team? Well, but, the, but the, why do the Lakers want him? Then why do the Nets want him? I mean, did I actually hear one of you guys? Because they're more complete teams. Andre Drummond, I almost, I almost spit up my soda here. Come on. <laughs> I mean, so I understand what you're saying, but these guys want him. But, I mean, 
there's a reason why why winning teams want him right now, right? So all I'm saying is, I, of course, you know, CP, you say this all the time. The devil's in the details. What's the cost to extend them? How much? What's the market for Drummond? I don't know. But yeah. but I just think kicking the ties on it and checking it out is not a bad idea. So like I said, you can say whatever you want. I know the NBA's got a different direction. We He is a legitimate post scorer. Now, maybe you don't think we need one. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't think you can just overlook the guy. That's all. Yeah. But listen, thanks for taking the call. Okay, you guys have a great Appreciate night. Appreciate it, Bye-bye. man. Have a good one, bro. Have a good one. Listen, I'm not, you know, again, with the old Depot and Drummond, I, on every episode, I say, I don't want this guy. I don't want this guy. I just don't want to rush the build to be average. That's not what you want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can let these guys go. If we don't feel, if I don't, I don't feel like these guys are going to help us win it all or or be building blocks to us winning it all. I'm not going to make that investment in an Oladipo RJ backcourt. I'm not going to make the investment in a, it's not to say that it's set in stone because you can always make trades, but I'm not going to make an investment in a Julius Drummond frontcourt. You don't build teams that way anymore. You know what I'm saying? You need, you need better flexibility. I'm not saying that he can't help. He's a he's a walking double double. Now the the Knicks already have trouble finishing at the rim, so he's not going to help you there. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're still yeah, going to have think, inefficiency at the rim. I think that's a difference between teams like the Lakers. You know, he brought up L.A. wanting him, and that's because you know L.A. is seeing what life is like without Anthony Davis, and a big part of their game is their size and being able to bully you. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what helped them win the championship in the bubble. And on top of the fact that, you know, the Heat weren't at full capacity, full strength, but one of the things that was a strong suit in the Lakers is their size. There are some teams that are kind of built in that format. And then there are teams that aren't. You look at the Portland Trailblazers, their strength is that they have shooters. There are teams that are built more evenly. The Knicks, I think, are somewhere between or are hoping to be somewhere in the middle. We don't have necessarily the biggest guys in the league. We don't always have, we don't have this necessarily the smallest. We mm-hmm. do need more help on shooting, but defense is not our issue. And Drummond, we're not saying he's not a great player. Make that right. very clear. We're not saying he's not an asset. No. There's a reason that so many teams are interested in him because they can use them because they can use him. But I don't know if he is, what the Knicks need at yeah. this moment. In That's time. what I'm saying. But there's such on the hierarchy of what we need. There's a plethora of other things Listen, that are needed first. Our offense is dead last in the league once again. He's not going to help you there. We need three-point shooting. We need assist makers. We need play more playmakers. That's what we need. Defense and rebounding, we're already solid in those statistics. We're already there. We need shooting. We need playmaking. We are last in assists. We are la- or, or close to last. We are close to last in three-point shooting. That's where your needs are. It's at the one. It's at the three. A consistent threat at both positions. That's what I'm saying. Now, Eddie so, in the I, chat says you don't have to extend Drummond. Then what are you getting him for? Exactly. You know, what, to, what, to make a playoff run and, and do what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This team is still not good enough. That's what I'm saying.